What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel another video. So the video I did two videos ago with the stencil that had the Norse tree of life on it. I don't own it anymore. So I want to make another one. But this time I'm going to try to make the silver veining along the surface and maybe airbrush it a little bit to kind of blow it so it flows. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work yet. But so we have pretty much the same color palette. I'm adding a, this was a cerulean blue that I added a little bit of white to just to lighten it up. Other than that, we have gray and we have the same gray mixed with titanium white to make these silver, just like last time. And then titanium white, all the colors are mixed. Two parts pouring medium to one part paint. Pouring medium that I'm going through like nobody's business is this pouring medium right here, the artist lock pouring medium. And we're gonna be using our new Argan Oil from Morocco uh, product to create just a light dusting of cells. And that's, that's what's going on, you guys. So, let's get it started. I'm gonna start by layering this white in here. And same idea as last time, I wanna keep it light. I really love the way that that one particular stencil looked, so I want another version of it that I keep. So how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing fantastic. It's not over 100 degrees here in Phoenix, so it's pretty much sweater weather. That's what everybody tells me. If it's below 100, it's sweater weather here, which, wow, that sounds crazy to me, but I'm not going to argue. Those are the indigenous people from around here. They've lived here for years, so they know what they're talking about. So nine ounces, this is a 14 by 14. Might need more than that, but we will cross that bridge when we get there. No, about nine ounces should be enough to cover, I would think. But I did want to introduce a little bit of blue to it. That was a request that I add a little blue. So that's what we do. That's what we do, right? We make the people happy. <laughs> yeah. But it is a nice day out. It's always kind of a nice day here, so I enjoy that. It's like summertime year round. All right, keeping it nice and light. That blue might have been a mistake. It looks like it's seriously gonna change the entire flow. But I love the way it looks in that cup. I can't argue with that. It looks phenomenal. Little tiny spot of dark again. We didn't get very many like really deep dark ribbons of color in the last one, so kind of open that we can this time. It's gray to just churn through, pushing that blue and darker colors through. All right. Ooh, watch your back. All right more white to kind of tone all the colors down just a little eh, no blue we got plenty of blue in there i think so we're just gonna top it off with the remainder of whites and that'll just be that oh yeah this was going to be used for, all right, cool. And that's what we got. We got this. This is it. All right. Let's flip her over. I've heard people saying that they're calling it like a JMO flip now when it's like a splat, which that's kind of cool. Humbling, I would say. That people would associate me with something in their art. 
All right. A little bubble in the way. Well, let's let these colors out of the cup and see what's going on under there. Oh, wow. Yeah, that blue is really nice, actually. Here, let me move that cup out of the way. Yeah, that's kind of pretty, actually. A nice little feathering of the colors. Wow. Let's pop all these bubbles. And it's okay if they give me a little cell type of look. I'm fine with that for now. Maybe if I was to travel, oh, I gotta add a little bit more medium to this. The silver's a little thick. Remember what I was saying that the paints tend to try to dry out as you're mixing them? It's crazy. So that paint thickened up that much. So we're just gonna add a little bit more pouring medium to it. Yeah, that seems to be a lot better. And I'm just gonna let it run just through. I am looking for like some silver lining. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. So it looks at least somewhat natural. I'm just dragging the stick through the paint now, right? All right, I think that's pretty much all we're gonna do. I'm gonna take what's left of the little bit of white we got go around this edge here. I have some more white mixed up, so if I need to use it, I will. I'm just giving the paint somewhere to flow to. A lot of the times it just has a hard time getting to the corner, so if we can Help it at least get to that point. I will be happy. Let's see, is that all the white we got? I think we can scrape a little bit more out of that cup. All right. Well, yeah, I'm so grateful to every one of you coming out and watching and giving me awesome feedback. You guys are the best. Really appreciate it. All right. Well, I think we're ready to spin and we can make adjustments if we need. Just gonna do a nice little spin and get some good coverage across the surface. moving very easily to the corners that were wet. That silver is not looking like <laughs> what I was going for at all. It, it kind of spread out on me. I don't know, maybe it kind of adds to it. It's not the idea I had in my head, but it's not always a bad thing. I love the banding going on. Woo! That's beautiful. All right, so stopped it. We have a little spot without any paint right here, so I'm just gonna give it a little bit of love. That's it. Everywhere else it seems to have covered nicely. Mm -hmm. Everywhere else is good. Alrighty, so we're ready for our little magic product, but 
yeah, the depth in that is just so cool. I really like these flips with a mix of transparent and opaque colors. So again, I just have the Argan Oil of Morocco Mist. And I'm going to do a light spritz into the air in front and then use my hand to kind of blow it over the canvas. So it kind of looks like a magic trick. Kind of like I'm doing like a Leviosa and I just throw it, you know. All right, here we go. Oof. Every time I see that, it's just... It's kind of crazy. That is cool though, that it didn't take over the whole thing. Because when I pushed the mist, I kind of pushed it this way, so it didn't really all get over the, the whole canvas. Yeah, that's wicked cool. I like that very, very much. And then the silver, I don't know, maybe, yeah. The silver actually does look like it's kind of dotted into the texture there okay. yep i like it all right well i'm gonna bring you guys down we're gonna check it out so here's our millions and millions of cells going on i actually like that side over there that doesn't have the cells if i hold it in the light you can see where we use the silver and even the silver got just tiny, tiny little spots of cells going on. So yeah, it's really, really cool. I think that's more silver right there. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to see it though. We'll get a better idea when it's dry. So this was way different than the panel board. It wanted to move a lot on me as far as the canvas stretching and retracting. So right now, oh dang, still worked out all right though. So the difference between this one, I tried to add a little bit of like shading to the different colors and the last one, the brown, was kind of a red color. So I tried to update that. I went a little lighter with the runes, but I still like them though. They're still really cool. Awesome. Final reveal. So the addition of the blue in here, and then I outlined to just kind of create a little bit more depth in the canvas. That gold is so beautiful. Trying to add a few subtle gradients to the green and brown too. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.